this is gonna be the longest trip I've done on this bike. Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing today? We are on our way to uh, Topo. I'm going to camp out on the way uh, in a place called Vinegar Hill. And um, tomorrow we continue to Topo to meet up with some uh, gentlemen called Retro Rockers. So um, that should be fun. Hopefully it'll work out. If not, it'll be a cool ride. I have all the gear on the bike. I have a bunch of extra petrol. There is a two and a half liter there. And I have another liter and a half in the front, just in case. This is our tent and sleeping bag and stuff is there. I am taking also a tripod because uh, I might be filming something exciting if it works out, uh, hopefully. Yeah, so this is our first petrol stop. I have another 200 kilometers to go or something. And uh, this is gonna be the longest trip I've done on this bike. So um, hopefully she's fine. Uh, Sissy Bar seems to be holding out so far. So um, let's see how it go. I think my timing is slightly off. She doesn't idle as nice as I would like it. But um, maybe when I camp out, if I have a time, I'll, uh, I'll give her a little tune. I feel like it if I don't lose the tools in the grass. So let's do it. I'll see you on the road. This is the last petrol stop for the day. I have some dinner and a backpack, some salad and some sausages. And uh, we are heading to the campsite. So another half an hour riding and uh, then it's time to chill. Time to chill. My trip is not gonna go anywhere. I got a flat tire. Damn it. And I'm kind of in the middle of nowhere. I have no fixing kits. Look at it. She just sits down there. Far out. What am I gonna do? Shit balls. I don't know what to do. I don't. Uh, damn it! So much for camping trip. All right, here is an update. There is absolutely no signal here. I have no internet, no phone connection. There is nobody anywhere, and I am sitting on the rim. I don't know what to do. Um, there are some houses down there. Might have to walk there, see if they can call somebody to help me out. Let's see. Okay, here is an update. Uh, lovely people in this house helped me out. 
um, they uh, have a landline so I have called out the AA which is Automotive uh, Association which I am a part of member thing so uh, everything is automated they don't uh, they don't have anything in there no person to talk to so um, uh, I just have to wait I'm gonna push my bike over here on this little grassy pitch and I'll just sit tight and hopefully somebody come to uh, help me out with the tire um, so uh, fingers crossed they'll come in not too long and uh, I can go camping fingers crossed she's a proper low rider now <laughs> I have tried to push her up this little hill. Uh, I couldn't. Holy crap! It's just not going. So I just uh, shot her in a first gear and uh, let her roll. And I totally took her, took the rubber off the rim. Yeah, she's pretty warm tire. Quite pliable. Which is the tube is done and I don't know where is the spike but I don't have a big don't have big tools to take it off and who knows when the help is gonna arrive so I'll just have to wait at least I have a little goat over there for a uh, company hello little goatee how are you doing yeah resting chilling this is what I should do, just sit down and uh, and just hang. So much for, <coughs> excuse me, so much for easy ride to go riding and uh, everything's fine, eh? First time I ever got a flat tire. And I was filming with one hand, everything was going fine. And then um, I put my other hand on the handlebars and suddenly she feels a bit wobbly. I'm just, what? what's that? That's weird. And... Uh, she wobbled with two hands in the handlebars, not with one. And I'm thinking, oh, I better pull over and see what happened. And uh, yeah, saw the tire. So, um, yeah, always something, isn't it? If one thing holds, another thing goes. Well, at least the sissy bar seems to be uh, fine. So. Uh, It is what it is. Alrighty, right. Here is the update. The um, the AA, the um, whatever car service, whatever thing they were here, just left now, and um, they don't carry. Excuse me. They don't carry anything for motorcycles. They can even legally change tires and all the jazz. So, uh, uh, a little flatty. It's gonna be there and uh, they are sending tow truck. So um, in another hour or two or whatever, I don't know when it's gonna arrive. They're gonna take me back to a building where I, it's a small town, but it's Saturday night. So um, I don't think I'm gonna get a tire change today. I'll have to find a place to sleep. And um, supposedly there is a, um, some kind of event going in fielding, so might be no accommodation there whatsoever. So uh, that's gonna be interesting on its own. Um, so I don't know. Uh, the best scenario, I find some keen biker who has uh, access to bike gear and tubes, and I can put a tube on and uh, continue on my journey. The worst case scenario, I can't get hold of anyone today tomorrow Sunday nobody's gonna be there anywhere and I can't fix my tire tomorrow so I'll have to probably stay another night in fielding and uh, try to fix the tire on a Monday and then I will go home I will miss out the rockers guys and um, as far as I can see it's quite unlikely for me to actually go there so much for planning to uh, meet them in Topo and hang out and show you all their cool uh, choppers and bike builds. Uh, sometimes you plan and you can only plan, but it never works out. So, um, 
There we are, stuck. I'm gonna eat something and then just wait for the tow truck. And some. So annoying! The engine was doing fine, everything was going fine. I'm thinking, man, I'm gonna do a, like a big trip on the bike. And I get a flat tire, like, really? Fuck. <laughs> Excuse me. Damn it. <laughs> and there it is. Sunshine. Last little bits of shadow. Well, come evening. Who would have thunk it? I'll be sitting on the side of the road waiting, eh? Rather than being in my tent reading a book. So many plans, I had to go swimming, to be by the water, I even bought a lighter to make fire, so I could sit by the river, by the fire, reading a book. Best late plans. <laughs> bye bye sunshine. She goes. That's how we finish for today. For now, anyway. Campsite. Um, bikes parked, tires chewed, <laughs> tubes broken, but we are here. It's our resting place for a night. Bikes there, tents ready. Here is our nice. A little nook and cranny, we're gonna go in, sleeping bag. Not the night I have imagined. <laughs> Not exactly what I have planned to do, but um, it is what it is. Um, beautiful night, um, stars are everywhere, moons coming out. And uh, yeah, let's see what tomorrow brings. I think my partner is coming to pick me up, we'll go home together, I'll get the youth and then I'll come back for the bike, I'll leave it here and uh, no topo, <laughs> not the adventure I wanted but sometimes you can't choose, can you? Alright, no night everyone, what an adventure day. Alright everyone, time to go to bed, all packed in, all warm, happy, not the day I expected, not the day I planned, but it is a day and tomorrow is another and we'll just get on with it and um, yeah, slightly disappointed that my plan didn't materialize but um, that's what happens in my life, that sometimes things work out and sometimes things don't. And we just have to get on, don't we? What's our options? We'll just have to plod on. Figure it out tomorrow. Good night. 
Good morning, good morning. Another little update. This is what the place looks like. It's a little campsite near fielding. We are parked here. I'm already packed. I tried to um, search some tires and some friends found a tire, but we still have a problem with uh, a tube. Sorry. I, the guys found some tubes and wanted to bring it back, but um, we have nowhere to change the tire. Uh, put it back in. And also, the tire looks on a worn side, you know? There is also no thread here. And um, yeah, I don't, I'm not sure how comfortable I am to uh, ride another 400 kilometers on that. So I think best idea is not to ride the bike. I don't wanna be in the same situation in the middle of nowhere when I'd have no uh, uh, contact. So uh, good friends of mine are actually coming from Wellington with a trailer to pick me up today. So I think they are already on the way. Uh, so I'm just gonna pick, uh, get myself ready. There she is. Poor little lo poor little muppet, but she's a proper low rider, isn't she? <laughs> Sitting on the rear rim. My breakfast is already here. This is a breakfast of champions. Two courgettes and a circle of cheese. So I'm looking forward to that and maybe I can uh, find some cup of tea in the kitchen. That would be splendid. Um, yeah. Let's get pack the tent and get ready and wait for the boys to come. Let's see. I can't say it arrived. This little machine has been in a crash. We don't want to end like that, do we? It's a guy coming to Kitahuna, almost home. Almost home. All right, hello, hello. So we made it home. Bike sparked, sadly sitting on a on a rim. The tire is pretty munted, and the tube, I think, too. We tried to inflate it yesterday with a couple of younger fellas over there, and um, uh, it was pouring air out of everything and everywhere so um yeah she's done mm, just wanted to say thank you to the boys who picked me up Dan, Pete, Tuki, uh, Karen and the little baby thank you for making the trip um, got me home it's awesome thanks again really thanks um, sure we'll see each other on the road or more often or whatever it'll come and um, yeah, the trip didn't turn up the way I wanted to be, didn't meet the people I planned to, but there'll be another time, and it was just another adventure. We'll figure it out, don't we? Thank you for watching, subscribe if you like it, watch these videos up there if you like them, and um, yeah, comment, say good day. and uh, do you do adventures? Do you get stuck in places? What's happening? <laughs> do you... What do you do? Um, anyhow, see you on the next ride.